Hello, prisoner tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger with me, Blue Inkyo. Last episode, well, we uh, <laughs> we tried to meet the Queen of Zeal. It didn't quite go the way we wanted. It appears there was a um, prophet of some sort that has convinced her that we are bad guys, and we are currently, uh, well, we're currently in jail, as you may be able to see up there. It's a magical jail, sort of stasis of some sort. But, out of nowhere, the Queen's daughter Shala and son Janus have appeared, and I don't know what they want to do. Apparently Shala is a kind daughter. Don't listen to that brat. I still think we really should have a long conversation with Shala one of these days. She, uh, she and I have a few things that we should really talk about. Right, well, I guess that's an option. Sounds like the sort of thing we should do. The Mountain of Woe. Never heard of it. Oh. Come on, don't be like that. Mysterious Prophet. I think Shala could take him, probably. She's pretty powerful. Janus could definitely take him. Hmm. Blackmail of some sort? Just a time gate, you know, they're all over the place. But how can we save the Guru of Life on Wool Mountain if you throw us through the time gate and seal it? Hmm. This prophet has far too much power. See ya. So much for 12,000 BC. Well, that's... that's not good for us. If only we'd had a chance to talk. Well, back to 65 million BC. Guess we're not going through that time gate anytime soon. Uh well Shala convinced him. Oh, that's a good question as well. Yes, Frog. I wonder where Magus went. That is also correct. You guys remember all of those mysterious doors in the future? There's, uh, maybe three or four of them. There's also some other things in the game that made that sound effect. Maybe we should go check them out. She's so happy. <laughs> Jumps up in the air. So yeah, I, uh, simple enough. We cannot use that time gate anymore. Conveniently, our dactyls have not abandoned us. Unfortunately, there's not a lot left to do in 65 million BC. Uh, we could go talk to some of the villagers, because now that Lavos has crashed into the planet, uh, there may be something different going on back here, I don't know. Kino seems to be holding things together, though, while Ayla's out. Yeah, we know. We stunned many dinosaurs. Oh, good, they actually- hey, you know what? I didn't even pay attention. You can just ask him what all the combinations are. That's cool. 
And then they've got the normal shop, that's fine. I probably have to sell some equipment off one of these days. We'll get around to that. So yeah, the Laruba village has sort of moved in, so they've sort of combined. Uh, probably ash, I would expect, actually. I don't think it's snow yet, I think it's more, uh, we just had a gigantic asteroid hit the planet. So they might be in for a bit of an ice age. Let's see, is there anyone left in Laruba? I sort of remember coming back here at some point. The villagers have all left. I think we'll need to check this place out again later on in the game though. Still got lots to do. We have not sorted out how to defeat Lavos. Although it does appear that in 12,000 BC, the magical remnants of humanity are trying to use his power, which is probably not good. Hmm. Happy water all gone? What? Find strange rock. So, I guess it's not really a spoiler at this point. They've been hinting at it long enough. The reason people have magic is Lavos's... I don't know what you want to call him, but parts of his body in form of rocks have spread across the planet. It's strange. It's how they made the Mazimune. It's how they made the Pendant and the Mammon Machine. And it's how people gained magic. Might have something to do with the time travel, too. We'll see. All right. Try not to spoil things ahead of times, but, you know, clearly some of this is, uh, implied. Well, let's get out of here. We'll have to go to the end of time. Oh, wait, we are dead. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about that one. Uh, let's, uh... No, you're dead. Okay. Mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to heal. And our... You know, I went to the place where normally you'd get to the... Uh, <laughs> well, at least I healed Frog. Um, you know, the place where you normally get the rest at the, uh, the inn there with the magic water no longer works. All right. Well, Frog should be strong enough to win with those two uh, knocked out. It's fine. Uh, let's just maybe even just one shot them. You know, Chrono, if I just use Lightning too, may have saved the day if I just uh, started with that. Yeah, the enemies are weak. That would have been a real shame if we died there. All right. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Yeah, getting beat up by the Golem. Not so nice. All right, let's uh, heal up here quick. It won't be very long and we can rest normally anyway, so don't worry about it. That one just caught me off guard. Alright. Time travel, yo. Alright, so uh, I guess we should talk to the old man at the end of time. Yes, yes we have. You mean there's other ways of traveling through time? Wings of time. Well, that sounds... quite intriguing. Perhaps it's related to those magic doors that Marl was remembering in 2380. That is where we'll need to go next to progress the plot. Uh, if we're ever ready to fight Specchio again, there he is. We're not. That's the level 30 to 39 version. He'll kill us. Well, okay. I hate to say things without demonstrating. There's no chance. This time, he uses area of effect magic. And he's pretty good at it. <laughs> Basically, Marl died before she got in action. 
Um, again, only magic works, so I think even though this is technically magic, I believe... Well, I'm not sure. We'll find out here if it works. Oh, that worked. So there's some dual techs now that we've unlocked that will do some damage to him. But we need to be able to survive his abilities. And we're not even close. <laughs> Uh, we will have a way to at least give us a chance before too long, though, so just give me a bit. We'll be back. Okay, so, basically, this is a good time. Maybe not the best time, but this is the earliest that we can start opening those magic chests. Um, we could start opening them in 1000 AD. Well, we're gonna go here first for one thing. That will make other things easier. Also, there's something that might be different in Medina Village. Alright, so that's all the same as before. I'm just, you know, we might have changed something in time a little bit. Maybe. Ah. I sort of remember this statue looking a little different last time. Why would it be Great Aussie? Lots of humphing. So, it seems that perhaps defeating Magus has changed the timeline a little bit. It's a little bit different. This is Ozzy the 20-something or whatever. Eighth. Just eighth. They lived for a long time. But, the work is still brutal. Just a, a, a neat little change in, uh, in events there. Now, this is the point in the game where you might actually have enough money to buy this new sword if you really wanted. Uh, it's still pretty good, uh, but I would definitely say that's a waste of money, unfortunately. Because now that we have this charged up pendant, which I suppose... Not really shown off, but they keep track of all your key items. Um, it doesn't say anything about the pendant here, I guess, but it is charged up. Well, there was this place that had uh, a weird blue pyramid here before. They talked about this uh, area. Now, this is... You usually maybe wouldn't come here quite this early if you never... If you didn't explore thoroughly. This is the sealed uh, treasure that they mentioned in one of the towns in Zeal, actually. Sealed by the Queen. But you couldn't get there because, um, well, you couldn't fly. But in 1000 AD, it's just here on the ground. Crafted by the Guru of Reason. A weapon? Or some armor? So, I don't know about you guys. See you later, Mr. Zoo. Poor Zoo. I don't know about you guys, but like, armor is nice, but weapons are like, more up my alley. The Swallow. So this is a humongous upgrade over a primeval blade. Plus three speed, takes him to max, and a very high weapon damage. All we're missing out here is, you know, 50% damage to magic enemies with the Zanmato. Still pretty good, but Swallow is just such a good weapon. I figured we'd go pick that up right away. It's uh, definitely end game tier. There's still better, but uh, not by much. All right, so next, let's see. There is one sealed chest somewhere in the Hecarin Cave. I guess we could go pick that up. There's also Melchior. We're supposed to rescue him, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure Shala asked us to rescue Melchior. Something peculiar about that whole story. But uh, I think we'll go find this uh, locked chest in here first. There are four specific locked chests that you do not want to open in 1080 yet. So we're actually going to go back to 680 for reasons. But uh, I figured we might as well get this one while we're on our way through. 
I think it's... I always, this is one of the ones I miss regularly, so I, I sort of forget. Looks like there's an area on the far left that I haven't explored either. Oh, you know what? I know what that is. That's just the map not filling in. Oh. Not bad. It's the other staircase. So yeah, today's episode, there'll be a bit of backtracking while we're looking for cool loot. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but the Swallow is probably the best of the loot we're going to get. But the other stuff, well, I say that. Some of the other treasure's pretty good, too. Swallow's just really easy to get. No point to miss it. Hey, here we go. Alright, Barrier Ring. What's this? And... A speed ring. So those are interesting. Let's have a quick look. Speed ring. Plus three speed. I think that's the largest speed bonus you can get. So it might be good for someone like Marl. You know, that brings her up to like higher than frog speed. That's pretty good. Uh, what else did we pick up? We also picked up... Barrier Ring, Magic Defense. I think that's pretty weak, honestly. An accessory for plus 10 Magic Defense? Eh, that's not much. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about the Barrier Ring too much. If it cast... A, like, if it had, like, an auto-cast effect, like, it might automatically cast Protect or something. That would help it out a little bit, but um, just the plus 10 Magic Defense is not enough for me, anyway. Alright, jump on in. And get spat out over here. You can go through the other way. If you, if you want to start in the fair, you can hop through and go the other way. Now, we could have visited Lucas House a long time ago, but I sort of forgot. He has a helmet for her, basically. The ultimate in defense. That's kind of an exaggeration. Um... If you'd pick this up as early as you possibly could, it might be worth it. At this point, we can already get better, though, so... Like, the vest, the Taban's vest with plus speed, that's definitely worth it. The helmet, though, eh, it's not that big a deal. Alright, um... You know, now that we've got a frog, there's a couple people we should introduce to our mother. A lady. Sir Knight, indeed. Sir Knight will suffice. He didn't want to call himself Frog. Um, I did like his interaction with Mama a little bit better when he had his uh, sort of uh, knightly accent, old English accent, whatever. Uh, we also have not introduced our mother to Ayla. Might as well get this out of the way right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I they're just. I really like these little interactions they added into the game, so I couldn't skip all of them. There's a lot of little bits like this that I'm sure I'll miss during the course of the Let's Play, but I'd like to show off the main ones if I can remember them. Oh snap! I could learn a thing or two from the robot. Alright, so I think that's now introduced- introductions are all over. We'll stick with Frog Marl for now. Um, once we get to the next actual dungeon, we'll look at uh, who we wanna- how we wanna split the party up. Um, let's see, what do we need to do? Oh, one thing I, uh, I was gonna mention, I forgot. If you remember back, like, episode 5 or something like that, I ran out of shelters in the, uh, in that uh, first dungeon, uh, the, the cathedral. There's a potion there. I missed that. There's supposed to be a shelter here or something. Maybe that was in... Maybe that was the Super Nintendo version or something. 
there is a couple shelters you can find. Either I used them and forgot, or I just for didn't pick them up somewhere. Anyway, no big deal, but uh, I was talking with some people in the comments about that. Alright, so next, we need to go back to 600 AD before we pick up any more treasure. Now, you'll remember, maybe, uh, I think if we go here, this one, <laughs> eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, there's some black chests. Uh, if you've never played it before, don't open that one yet. There's four of them that you actually want to go back to 600 AD first. After you have the pendant, eat, like you have, you can't do what we need to do until you have the pendant. So even if you clicked on those uh, earlier in the game, that does not count. I wonder if there's anyone they can talk to now that we've had the trial and everything. No, what's the gossip now? Oh. I suppose we could bring Marl back to the castle. We'll, we'll do that at some point. Maybe things have changed now that uh, we've been gone for a while. Now, I will tell you guys that if you don't want to do all this backtracking now, there is an easier way or a quicker way to do it later on. Um, but I'm impatient and I want all the best weapons right now. Where's the one I want? Uh, the last one? Yeah, of course, the last one I click. So yeah, we want to go to 600 AD. There's, I think, one chest to open back here. And there should be four that we hold off on. Well, you'll see. Let's just speed through this fight. No need to waste time too much more. It's already going to be a pretty long episode of backtracking. Okay, so I showed you that one in the six, uh, the 1000 AD in. So, the thing is, it's the same chest as this one in 600 AD. But, if we open it now, we don't get the best loot. If we had only opened it in 1000 AD, we would have got the same loot as we could get right now. But by going back into 600 AD, looking at it, not opening it, and then going to 1000, it gets sort of powered up. It's weird that it doesn't just automatically give you that in 1000 AD, but that's just the way it is. Now, where else was there some treasure? I don't... Well, there's no town here in the future. So I don't think there was any chests here. I'm just trying to zip through quick so I don't miss anything. They're usually in the inn. Yeah. Because this town doesn't link up to any town in the future, there's probably nothing there. That's fine. There was one in the magic cave, though. So we'll go pick this up quick. I'll probably still miss one somewhere. Just my nature. Magic ring. Alright, let's have a quick look. See if this is worth anything. Magic ring. Magic plus six. It's a lot of magic, but uh, as far as accessories go, again, it's not... It's not super, super useful. Alright, that's one that I miss all the time, and it doesn't really matter too much. What about Fiona's village? Villa, I guess. Is there any by Cursed Woods? I don't think there's any in the Cursed Woods. Uh, this is the other inn. I know there's some chests in Poor somewhere. Oh, you know what? They're probably in the, the, the Mayor's Manor. Or the Elder's House. Yeah. So there's two here. Same thing. Say no. Have a look at the other chest as well. And say no. Because we know those chests are still here in the future. Or the present, I guess. Now there's one more somewhere. I can't forget where it is. Tata's house, maybe? Not up here. 
Everyone's a little bit cranky that he's not the legendary hero. Oh, but he's going to be the legendary Sea Captain Bluebeard. Well, I can get behind that. Oh, that's Tet. I thought, was, I thought I was talking to his dad. Alright, where's that last chest? Probably the tavern. No? Where is... What am I ever missing? I know there's four. There has to be four. There's a reason there's four. Let me just really quickly look this up. Sorry, guys. Uh... Da, da, da. I have a, uh, a walkthrough on the uh, other monitor. I haven't really used it much other than every now and then I forget about an item or two. This is the kind of time when I forget an item or two. Alright, so we're looking... 600 AD... Truce in Black Box. Oh, there's one in Guardia Forest I would have forgotten about as well. We'll head there. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Sorry, everybody. Oh, in the castle. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, perfect. I forgot. There's one in the castle. Yeah, that's... Just how it goes. So, two in poor, one in, uh... Whatever the first village is called, the first town is called. One in, uh... Truce. <laughs> One truce, two in poor, and one back in the castle. Good enough. Now, there is a chest in the forest here that is not available in... Oh, yeah, that's right, this too. Um, this is one of the other... I think this is the spot where we missed another shelter at the beginning of the game. Let's just kill these guys quick. And I think now that they're dead... Isn't this... There is another shelter in one of the shrubs in one of the forests that early on in the game would save you a bit of money. Anyway, there is no chest here in 1000 AD. So that's how you know you can open this safely. Alright, to the castle. Everyone in 600 AD loves us. Plus we beat Magus, so everyone's really happy. And I guess we haven't even been back since we fought him, so... This is kind of new. Hey, no problem. I'm glad we brought Frog. Special cutscene. And the music. Uh... Maybe don't do that. That could be confusing. If we have a statue. Oh, Commander Frog. Maybe one day. Well, that sounds like fun. Such a good frog. There we go. Awesome. Nothing rewarding, really, other than that music. So one of these towers has a, uh, there it is. Alright. Do not pick that up either. Okay, so now all four of the chests that, uh, can be powered up should be powered up. Now, I think the only other magic chests, I think, are in, well, there's the four in 1000 AD. And then the rest of the magic pendants open openers are in the future, 2300, I think. Like, there's really not too many of them. It's just easy to forget a couple, like the magic cave and Hecron's tunnel. I miss those all the time. Oh, also, I mean, I picked up a uh, capsule here. Speed capsule. See, Marl's quite quick at the moment, but that's only because I gave her a speed ring. I'm going to start boosting her up a little bit. Her ability to cast haste is going to be pretty useful, I think, honestly. That's a... Uh, speed through.
No need to waste too much time. Alright. Like I said, time traveling might not be as difficult in the future to get around as it is right now, but, uh... So we don't want to go to Medina Village, we want to go to... The Millennial Fair. Already a forest? Oh, that's right! Uh... Lean Square, there we go. There's two! There's a lot of time gates to 1000 AD, it's peculiar. I will... We'll save... I, I can't, I know. Just to save time, we'll use the, uh, the Guardia Forest one to get out of here. Because I would like to visit the king before we go. Marl and her dad, they need to have a little chat. I really should do some more House of uh, Horrors again one of these days too. Tent of Horrors. I don't have a lot of silver coins. Maybe between episodes one of these times I'll go farm up some silver coins. It's really easy, or silver points. I just have to go either kill the robot or, uh... Actually, I think you can just buy them at this point in the game. We can sell them, at least. Anyway. Now, I'm pretty sure I did it right. The blue vest upgraded to the blue plate. Now, thanks to Timey Wimey, we can still go back to 600 AD and pick up the blue vest. But you only get one blue plate. What does a blue plate do, you ask? The blue plate is pretty strong defense, and it absorbs water. Why is there four ch treasure chests? Maybe there's four elements. Let's go pick them up. And this is how I'm hoping to kill Specchio. Absorbing elemental magic. But even then, it still comes down to a bit of luck. Snail stop? Oh, that's right. I should do something here while I'm thinking about it. Remember the spice jerky? This is probably a good time to buy some. It's pretty expensive, but early on in the game, um, it doesn't really help you too much. This is the greedy mare. Makes you run around like a chicken for five gold. Five Gs. But yeah, these. Alright. White plate. Black plate. Now I will check afterwards if I've missed any of these, but I think with these four plates... Uh, and all of the side, uh, dungeon chests sort of checked. I think I've got all of them. I hope. I wonder if this is the one where you click. I know there's a... Let's just speed this up. I know there's a shelter in a shrub somewhere. I always miss it. Oh well. This one? Maybe like after you kill the enemies. Welcome back to Guardia Castle, everybody. Okay. Marl doesn't know much about her mother. Wait, what? Some might say that... They... What? Uh... What's going on, everybody? There we go. Millennial anniversary, I've been pardoned. Pardoned. Or probationed, at least. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go say hello to the king. 
we actually have not explored this castle in 1080 yet. They've never let us have a free run of the place. Well... Don't call me a hoodlum! Exactly. Laurel has friends now. To be fair, there's a statue in Chrono's name somewhere in this castle, probably. And also Frog, because we're the heroes that saved the kingdom 400 years ago, right? Oh, she's gonna get slapped. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? You can't disown her! She's your only heir! Why does he have a twinkle in his eye? Hmm. Well, at least they didn't kick us out this time. Let's go have a little bit of an exploration. Seeing as we've never explored the castle, there's probably some loot just laying around. <laughs> Physical fitness! Education. Discipline! <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Mega elixir! That's a full heal... For HBMP for the whole group in battle. Those are pretty rare and definitely worth saving for tough, tough boss fights. Elixir is the same thing but only single target. There it is. Alright, we got the red plate. So now we've got fire... Well, we've got one of each type. Fire, water, lightning, and shadow. So he couldn't bear to see his daughter in harm's way, basically. But he's a stubborn old man. Still gives him a hug. What? I guess we gave him the uh, spicy jerky. Oh, we missed a little bit there. This was, I guess I shouldn't have bought it that early. Someone would have told us that he loves spicy jerky. Marl brought it to uh, make amends. I didn't mean to skip that, but uh, apparently we accidentally skipped it. Shoot! I, I, I think the Chancellor would have recommended that as a uh, reconciliation with her father. On our way out, probably, or something. I just skipped it. Sorry, guys. So, you may notice in 600... Like, this, the castle's a little bit different than 680. This area was not in uh, the medieval castle. That's peculiar. And this just leads to the courthouse. <laughs> no, I just want to loot the place, guys. You know me. But there is still the kitchen down here. A little bit upgraded. That's a, a pretty good line, actually. I like that.
wonder how long this Millennial Fair is gonna go on anyway. So yeah, I just want to finish exploring the place, that's all. No big deal. You're not allowed to go to the prison towers! So my lawyer's down here now. Alright, good job, Pierre. Oh! But the Chancellor's been strange again. Oh. Really? It seems a little familiar for the Chancellor of the Kingdom of Guardia to be suspicious, building dragon tanks. Huh. Well, we'll have to investigate that further later. I, uh... I'm sorry you s missed out on one of the little dialogues for, uh, spicy jerky. Yeah, we can't go back into the prison tower anyway. Alright, I think that's it for backtracking. Mostly. Uh, there's still uh, some chests... Well, they're not chests, there's some doors to open up in, uh... I can't even get to this one. Oh, it's totally blocked off. Alright, well, we're going to have to go the long way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel back to 600 AD and gather up um, the vests. They, uh, we'll show you, I'll show you guys what they do next episode. Uh, actually, we have one ruby vest. We'll get another one of these. It just halves elemental damage. They're nowhere near as good as the plates that absorb elemental damage. Um, so I'll go pick up the spares from 600 AD because they do not disappear when you pick up the one, the plate in the future. So you can get a plate and a vest if you do it properly. And then I'll meet you back, uh, probably end of time, so we can at least try to fight Specchio. I don't know if we'll have a great chance, but, um, we'll give it a go. And I'll double check if I missed anything, too. So, we'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.